Hello, Mary Neat. So, today I am going to review a big pink book. And the book I'm going to review is The Central Guide to Crystals, Minerals and Stones. This book is written by Margaret and uh, Lembo. And yeah, and it is published by, as you can see, Lavelle. Now, what is this? It is basically exactly what it says. It's a guide to various forms of minerals and stones and their use in New Age magic and healing. So, let's begin by having a look at the index. I always think that's a good way to start reviewing a book. So, yeah. Uh, first of all, the book is... I can take that first. The book is very, very heavy. Like I said when I talked about this in one of my Venefica so-called findings, I don't know how they managed to cram that many pages, over 400 pages in this, into this tiny little book. And it feels very heavy, it feels like a book twice the size, you can kill a grown man with this book. So yeah, the printing is very nice, it's very crisp, though I don't think my camera will pick it up. Are going closer? No, not at all. Oh, here we are. There we go. It is very crisp, the pages are shiny, and the picture quality for the pictures of the stones are very good, which is very important since very often when you have these kinds of books, what you will be doing is that you will be uh, looking through this book if there's a stone you're unsure what is, and so on, and then you need a good quality picture to identify your stone. So yeah, very, very, yeah, the index. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yes, we have acknowledgments and introduction, of course. Then we have working with gemstones, how to use, how to choose crystals, the shapes and sizes of crystals, uh, clearing and charging crystals, gemstones for chakras, crystal alignments and chakra balancing, crystal grids for home, office, and the plant. A to C of crystals, this is the main focus of the book. And then there is appendices, which is astrological signs, plants, nuts, and asteroids, chakras, careers, careers and professions, archangels, crystal grids, and alignments. And then there's a glossary, suggested reading, references, and biography, and an index. And an index is extremely important for a book that says this, so that if you want to know what selenite does, we can just go back here and we can see on C, let blah blah blah. And there's a pretty big and complete index. And we go to uh, selenite, selenite, selenite. Yes. It seems to be all. Page 118. So yeah, it is relatively easy to find what you're looking for in this book. And the book and the stones are also uh, listed in the book uh, in alphabetical order, so it's very easy to use it as. Uh, as a book to Tom Cruise when you need some information, uses that as a lexicon. So, uh, and that's basically what you will use this book for. Generally, this is the book you will read from cover to cover. Now, as for the other information, like there's information on crystal grids and chakras and archangels compared to stones and so on, it's decent. It's not the end all by all uh, book on a uh, book on stones, I would say, but it's decent and it's not of course since it's only basically just to get you familiar with these topics they are not very huge and detailed but it is enough information to get you started and that's important a lot of these books they include a mention of it but it's generally just a waste of space because it doesn't include enough to get you started but let's just take one topic at random so I can show you 
how much space is dedicated to such things. So let's find the Again, and it is, uh, one thing I can complain about this book is that the, the pages are from strange material and it really loves itself so that it can be you have to rub them together a lot to get the pages separated anyway let's go back to how to choose crystals it's page 12 so basically it begins here on page 12 and the picture is also very nice. And it goes on to uh, page 14. So yeah, that's one topic. And that actually gives you a decent information and a few various methods by which to choose your stones. And it's about the same for other that kinds of topics. Basically, it gives you enough information in a good place to start if you want to learn more you might want to pick up other books and so on but it gives you enough that I would say that if you want to start using crystals for healing and for magic then this book will get you started it has all that you need to start practicing so as for the meat of the book the crystal lexicon is it good? Yes, it is. It's a lot of the, there's a huge variation of stones, and let me just find one at random here. Uh, Lapidite. So what it has, it has one picture, as you can see here in the corner uh, of the stone. Often it has a picture of the stone, yes, uh, both in raw format and uh, various forms of. Uh, tumbled and uh, so on so that you can recognize it. There's one little box that says what color it is, what chakra it applies to, what planet, uh, what number is associated with it, what element is associated with it, <coughs> what uh, hardness it has on the most scale, and the astrological sign it's associated with. And then you have some information of about the stone. And then what you have, you have affiliation, which is basically what sort of qualities is the zone affiliated with. You have spiritual uses, you have mental uses, you have emotional uses and physical uses. That basically means if you, for example, have a mental problem, you are feeling a lot of anxiety, then you might want to have go and you can find the, a stone and that will have the mental uses by but it might have completely different physical uses, so that it's separated out. And then it has divine guidance uh, by what sort of spiritual principles is it associated with. And then you have a little uh, blurb down here, and it doesn't show up on the camera, but it's yellow and dark yellow. Here we go, there you see. It. Which is basically the scientific facts about the stones. What, uh, what sort of materials is built on. So, a uh, lepidite we can read here is a silicate containing lithium, aluminium, and phosphatium. It is often found with other lithium minerals such as tourmaline. Lepidite crystallizes in the uh, monoclinic system, however, it is usually found in massive form. Basically, just little inf uh, useful information. So, yeah. This is very good, of course, since there and each stone has these this two page spread. Now, uh, to criticize it, <laughs> basically, since it has so many different, it just have one paragraph about the physical things. It has just one paragraph about the mental things and so on, which may, means that there's a lot of information there, but it isn't a lot of information on each thing. So, for example, for um, emotional uh, uses of lepidite, we can read that. Lepidite carries the vibration of lithium, which is used to medically uh, to balance the emotions and limit uh, to to or eliminate extreme mood swings. With the vibration 
of the pink tourmaline is beneficial for opening the heart center. With this stone in hand, open your heart to love. Feel the nurturing vibrations and restore balance to in your life. Which is, uh, it gives you enough of a blurb to know what to do with the stone, but it doesn't give you a lot of information. So again, this is a book that's a good beginner's book. It will give you what you need to begin, and it's also a good reference book, because even as much as I love stones, I don't know all of these facts of all of these different stones in my head, and then it's very easy to have a book on the shelves that I can pick down and just quickly read up. So I like that, but like I said, I would have preferred it to have some more information, and I mean it wouldn't have made the book that much bigger if they had three pages per stone. That would have been more useful, but as it is, it's pretty good. So yeah, I can't really complain, it does what it does. It is a good reference guide, and it is a good way to get started, so if you are wanting to get into crystal healing and crystal magic and also to use crystals within your religious path, then this will tell you a lot. It will tell you about crystal grids, it will tell you how to cleanse stones, how to heal with them, how to use them in magic, all of the things that you might want. Now, one thing that doesn't bother me, but which might bother some people, the book is very new agey. And by that I mean it talks about vibrations here and vibrations there, and it's and a lot of people find that irritating. I don't. I understand what I'm meaning with it. And within the context of New Age, it makes perfect sense. However, for a lot of people, the the vibrations of lithium. What the fuck? And I can understand, and if you are one of those people that just shake your head at New Age, then you might not want this book because it is very New Age. -y. Generally, crystal healing is considered to be quite New Age, -y, but this really goes far into the New Age territory. It is more New Age than what you would say classical or cultism. However, I still very much like it. It has its flaws. The, stone, the descriptions of stones could be more detailed. For example, but other than that, I think it's a pretty good book. I would give it an 8 out of 10. So yeah, that's my review of Essential Guide to Crystals, Minerals and Stones by Margaret and Bembo. It's a big book. It contains basically what you need to get started, and it is a very good reference guide to stones and basically uh, supernatural uses of stones in general. So yeah, it's a good book that I do recommend. So, yeah, and this is the back of the book. Some people want to see that as well. It just has some blurbs about the book on it. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed the review. Have a great day, and blessed be.